Hey, Calcar and friends. So very exciting news here on the farm very, very soon, probably today, Danielle and I are gonna go through all of our new Bibleists and add them to the webpage, which means uh, very soon here, this collection of Bibleists can become your collection of Bibleists. Not all of them, we're keeping some. Uh, and since we'll be sending some out, we've never really done a care video on how to grow Bibleists. And so we're going to throw one together here and I'll tell you exactly how I've grown these to have them look so beautiful so that when they get to your house, you can have that same success. So all of the species that we'll be adding uh, shortly are annual. We will have perennial Gigantea shortly, but first we have all these annual species available. Uh, that's going to be Gehoi, Philofolia, Linaflora, Aquatica. I think that's all the ones that we'll have. It is. Um, Care-wise, they're not too particular. And because they are annual, you don't have to worry about any winter issues or how cold can it get because they will be dead. That's the annual life, uh, life cycle. So they're going to grow up, be beautiful flower all summer long and many of these things will have huge flowers. This is a Gigantea, so I'll give you a rough idea, but these other ones will have flowers very similar to that. Um, and then they will die when it gets cold. Again, you won't have to do anything. There's no saving them. That's just their life cycle. It's called the annual life cycle. Linaflora and Aquatica will self-fertilize and make many, many seeds and Linaflora is the easiest to germinate from seed. Aquatica, there's really not too much to it, but they're a little shy to germinate, so you'll want to sow a bunch of them. So if you want to keep those two going, it's relatively easy. They'll make a whole ton of seeds, and you'll sow them again in the spring. We'll do a video on how to do that too. These other ones, Gehoi and Philofolia, are not self-fertile and do not self. And so in order to keep those going, those you will need two of, and you'll have to cross the flowers and collect those seeds. That's really all there is to them. That just means that you'll have to get two. Oh no, you'll have to order two. <laughs> just tell your significant other, I'm sorry, we have to get two of these. It's going to be a good investment. Um, and there will be plenty and plenty of flowers to try on. They will just be constantly flowering, even at this size, flowering, flowering. The Gehoi's will continue to grow and get like up to two feet tall, especially if you stake them up. Same with the Philofolias, those will get very, very large. Aquatica and Linaflora are beautiful, but stay relatively small. I would say like four to six inches tall would be probably max on those. But again, just flowering, flowering. The Aquaticas will be totally purple when grown in strong light and just constantly flowering. We have pictures, I think, up on the webpage of just how flowery and purple those were. But we also have, I can tell by these... Uh, Hey ho that they're also going to be very bronzy purple too. Just beautiful, beautiful colors. Um, they enjoy quite a bit of sun. This is basically full sun. We have one skin of plastic over this, but other than that, they're pretty much getting full sun. If you're in an insanely hot area and you're just getting these out from being shipping, I probably wouldn't go and take them and put them straight out in full blasting direct sun like in Arizona or anything like that. You could probably work them up to that because in Australia, it can be very warm there too, but you don't want to fry these things. Um, so quite a bit of sun, maybe a little afternoon shade if it's super, super hot. Do not transplant these. We have them all set to go in a nice pot that they could totally mature and grow in. If you wanted to move them up gently, gently in like a month or something into a slightly bigger pot, you could do that, but I really don't think you need to. You won't get any more growth out of them that way. And then they're in a very sandy soil. So the tendency when you're trying to do this is it's just gonna fall apart. And when they get through that root shock, they're just gonna die. I know lots of you like to reef pot plants that you get from me and put your own spin on it. And that's totally cool, but you do not wanna do that with these. Just let them be. Right now, they're all set up with my 30 years of experience. Why put our one or two days of experience on that? Just let it ride on what we have here. Soil-wise, they are in a sandy, sandy mix. We're doing them in basically equal parts peat and sand with a part of pumice thrown in there. It's our cephalotis mix, um, but they super really love that. Water-wise, keep them very wet. Um, just like any regular carnivorous plant, we just keep them sitting in rainwater or distilled water all the time. We haven't really grown a ton of these, and so I can't say for sure how sensitive they are to hard water. But being special 
pen frightfully new, I wouldn't use tap water on these at all. Some other plants, like the Saracenia, you might be able to get away with that. Don't do that with these. Um, I'm trying to think what else there is. Oh, fertilizing is a very good idea to keep them happy and growing. Um, we do that with our uh, with an orchid fertilizer. You could also use the Maxi, probably low dose, maybe like an eighth of a teaspoon per gallon in a little spray bottle, and then just misting the leaves every couple of weeks. That's probably all you'll need to do. And that'll keep them growing really rapidly and making lots and lots of flowers for you because that's the whole point. And again, you know, not all plants are made to last forever. So, you know, I've had the same Saracenius since I was a little boy, same fly traps, even a few sundews. But on these guys, they're annual. And so you're going to have a different experience. It's going to be really magical and beautiful. You know, some of the best experiences in life are very short lasting. And, you know, that's just how it goes, like fireworks or whatever. So... Um, if you want to see these things grow, we're super excited to see them grow. Um, be sure to go on our webpage pretty soon here and add them on to that cart and get them to your house because I know they will sell out quickly. I know it looks like there's a lot, but they'll sell out quickly. It's kind of crazy. Um, and if you have any more questions, I'm always happy to answer them. You can uh, message us basically anywhere, email. You can even message me on Facebook and I usually get back to people on there too. Uh, hope you guys have lots and lots of luck with these and enjoy growing them as much as we do.